It's time once again for that business show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Wins WHNZ, where business becomes show business. Jamie is a leading Tampa Bay real estate agent and featured on the Wall Street Journal's list of top 100 real estate agents in the nation. Jamie invites you to list your home with him today and learn more at tampabayradio.com. Now, live in studio and promoting the entrepreneurial spirit that drives the American economy, your host, Jamie Maloney. Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Monday, and thanks for tuning in to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. Just want to mention, uh, you know, our thoughts and prayers with all the uh, tragedies that went on in Orlando over this uh, past uh, weekend. So we want to wish uh, the families uh, well in their endeavors and uh, just want to, again, extend our thoughts and prayers to all the victims of the uh, senseless uh, tragedy or senseless violence that went on over the weekend and again wish everybody well uh, you know throughout the uh, week and everything so just wanted to mention that up front uh, you know our show does not focus on politics and all the you know the stuff that comes along with that so just want to mention that up front though our show here focuses on positive messages each and every day about the different business owners entrepreneurs and community leaders and what they do in our communities to make a difference so if you've been listening to all the news over the weekend we appreciate you tuning into this uh, program and taking a break from all the uh, negativity that uh, is in our uh, in our communities uh, too much and on our airwaves each and every morning. Uh, Josh Fazda in studio with me this morning is always me. running the live stream over there. Josh, uh, how was your weekend in light of the uh, the tragic events? Well, first of all, stop the hate, and second of all, my weekend was pretty good. Good deal. I saw considering uh, I saw uh, Journey on Friday evening. Ironically enough, you had mentioned uh, we were uh, quoting the uh, line from uh, the uh, one song "Don't Stop Believing" yeah. on Friday. <laughs> Last Friday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that somehow came up, and uh, I didn't even realize they were in town until like five o'clock that evening. One of my friends posted something about Journeys in town. I was like, oh shoot, I didn't even realize that. So I grabbed a couple of tickets with a friend and headed over to uh, see. Wait a second, you were able to get tickets? Yeah, the yeah, day at, of the, the show? At, at the amphitheater. Yeah, yeah, it, it wasn't. It was. Past I don't know if it actually sold out, but there's always tickets available at you that place. You think that a band like that would sell out? That's, that's yeah. insane. Well, they have the 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 yard area up top too, oh, yeah, which yeah. I think is kind of like general admission, and I don't think they really sell that out. So, but it, I mean, right. it was packed by the end of the night. How I, was the show? It was good. They uh, had some guy. I uh, forget the. F Mason, something Mason. I forget the guy's name. He was the opening uh, act. He'd been oh, around okay. since the '60s. He was just a, you know, guitarist and singer. Had a few songs, and uh, I think he had some popular song in the '70s. I've never heard of the guy, but his last name was Mason. I can't think of his first name now. What'd you think of uh, Steve Perry's uh, Asian Arnardo, doppelganger? Arnardo, Arnardo, Arnardo Pinal. Pinal. <laughs> sounded just like Steve Perry. That's awesome. I, I even leaned over to my friend during the show. And I said, "I think they're piping in Steve Perry. I think he's lip syncing." So. No, no, that guy's <laughs> legit, man. They found him in like some hotel. Uh, doing like journey covers back yeah. in the day. Yeah, that's he found him on YouTube. Yeah. yeah, he was a YouTube sensation, another way to be found uh, these days in entertainment. He's a walking Oprah Winfrey story, man. Yeah, but uh, he's been with the band nine years now. Yeah. Um, I actually learned a little bit about Journey this weekend. I thought that Steve Perry and was the original singer and all this stuff, but they go all the way back to 1973, yep. and none of the current band members are original. They no. were formed in 73 by. Uh, like a management group and the man this management group like replaces the band members as they need so i think they're like run by some management company yeah or something. you were saying that's how it was done back then is that a manager would create a band and then fill in the blanks with the yeah. different members yeah so all the members are you know coming gone throughout the uh, years but the other their current singer uh did an incredible job a small little guy from the philippines and uh, really got the crowd excited and incredible voice like i said yeah. i thought he was steve perry being piped in through the uh, can through you the imagine microphone. being that guy though like you you're you're in a hotel playing covers and this band comes and kidnaps you and all of a sudden you're famous yeah it's yeah. like a the american dream coming true for sure yeah but uh doobie brothers opened up for them old 70s band it's, there it's a weird mix couple uh couple big hits from the uh, 70s china grove and some about old black water keep on i don't know some uh, you, you probably know the song there <laughs> no, when i said I it there <laughs> yeah i just remember that part i can't remember the lyrics but i remember that 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 uh that riff right there so doobie brothers opened up for them but uh, all in all good night on uh, friday night scene journey here in town so uh good show planned for you today the second part of today's hour we'll be talking uh, fashion uniquely yours boutiques manager jade matase is in studio today but up first i have a returning guest to the program of douglas aze president and ceo of largo financial services returning to the program so douglas welcome yes. back to the program today thank you so tell us a little bit more first off about largo financial services and what you do yeah we're a financial service uh, firm and we've been in business now going on 16 years and um pretty much just working with small business owners individuals and families actually just helping them understand financial 
um, keeping it very simple so you can understand how to take control of your finances. So how did you come in? So would you call yourself just a, a financial advisor? You work all the different insurances and, and, and retirement plans. You can help somebody with all those uh, range of services? Yes, we do. We do, um, but we do it in a unique fashion where we actually, first of all, help our clients find money in places that they, may, they might be losing money or knowing they're not necessarily. Because one thing we've realized in, in, in finding and saving money a lot of times people don't have the money to save or put away. So or what we they do just is suck at it like me. <laughs> <laughs> so we look at places that you might be losing money, for example, the way you pay on your mortgage, you know, contribute to a qualified retirement plan, how you pay for major capital expenses, like when you buy a car, pay for weddings, so we, and credit cards. Yeah, I see uh, every now and then in the mail, I get, uh, uh, with regard to a mortgage, I get a letter saying to make that one extra payment a year, there's a different type of payment plan that'll, that'll save, they'll cut a 30 year mortgage like a 17 year mortgage. Right. Is that something that you promote or you, do you know what I'm talking about here? Yes, I do. And, um, I don't, my take is this I like my clients to be in control of their money, not giving away control to the bank. Right. So, paying off your mortgage and putting an extra payment, first of all, you're going to get rid of your tax deduction when you pay it off early. But the key to paying off your house is having that money sitting in an account that you control and you have access. So if anything should ever happen, like an emergency, you could access the money. Instead of having the bank, you know, going to the bank and being on their mercy and begging them to give you, you know, money out of your home that you just paid off, especially if you need the money to do something major. Mm -hmm. Now, do you work with both uh, personal and uh, uh, professionals as well with finding ways to save money in, in, you know, in, a, in a business as well, not just in the household? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, especially in the businesses, we, we show them a way to create their own credit line to kind of have access. Cause a lot of times, you know, being a business owner for 20 years myself, you know, one thing that we found that is so hard is when you need the money and you need to go to a local traditional bank to go get the money, a lot of times, they, they make it difficult for you to get and you need access to cash. And most times when you go to hard money lenders, you know, they charge you on a weekly basis. So I teach my clients how to use unique products to use that to create their own credit line. Now you're based in DC, correct? Yes, I'm based in DC, Maryland. Uh, we have offices all over the country, so I kind of travel a lot and work with clients. I was going to say, how did you get from DC <laughs> down here to you know the Tampa Bay region? Well, you know, I've been coming to Tampa now for the last eight years, and I actually also started. I worked in Orlando as well, but I have an office here at West Shore and Kennedy. So, and I have a, I work with a lot of pastors and a lot of the business owners here in Tampa as well. That's now, not at all what I thought he would say. I thought he was going to say, like, train, bus, airplane or something. <laughs> now, one of the things that business owners uh, should be aware of is the use of life insurance as a credit tool. Now, this is something that you teach and, and you know to your clients. So let's talk a little bit about that. How can business owners use life insurance as a line of credit? Well, you know, one thing that you always find it that when it comes to borrowing money, you, you go to a bank, the first thing they're going to ask you is, what does your credit look like? Now, most businesses don't need to fund their business and they need to keep pay, keep payrolls going, especially when the business is slow. So one thing I've learned along the years for myself, you know, I've always been able to access my cash value out of my insurance policy to use it to keep funding my business. I'll give you a perfect example. You know, um, I mean, years ago, McDonald's, the, the Ray Crook, when he first started his company, he couldn't, he didn't have money to pay his employees. But he had a life insurance contract, and he was able to pull cash out of it to keep payroll going. And that's what saved this company. Interesting. So the use of life insurance now. But now how long does it take to build up a, you know, I mean, typical life insurance, you know, takes time to build up, you know. So well, how, how, it, it does. But the, if, if it's structured properly, you could have access to your money the first year. Okay. But it has to be structured properly. And that's one reason, that's one thing we teach. Because most, most agents don't understand how to properly structure a life insurance contract. But if it's structured well, you could actually start using the money in the cash. So give me some tips here on what you mean by structured well, because I know there's term life insurance. Yes, there's term. That one is basically you're using it as a rent and as a temporary situation. But mostly we have cash value, we have IULs, and we have whole life. Now, when I mean structured properly, for example, there's a minimum payment that the insurance company require you to pay into the policy to keep the policy going. But then there's a maximum that the IRS allow you to put in. Most agents sell the minimum payment which doesn't really give you access to cash for about two, three years. But if you max fund it by putting all the maximum inside, you have access 
in some cases, the first year or the second year, you could pull money out of it. Now, your life insurance policy builds up a cash value. I mean, yes. how much of that cash value then can you deduct or use as a line of credit? 90%, 95 100%? Yeah, How's um, that work? About 85% of that. 85%. Good information right there. So uh, let me take a quick break here. Currently talking to uh, Douglas Aze, uh, president and CEO of Largo Financial Services. I want to talk to him about the four C's to wealth building when we come back uh, from the break. We've got control, compound, cost, and collateral. So he'll break Break that down for us here on That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. Who doesn't have a smartphone these days? And of course, there's an app for everything. Well, almost everything. That's why the folks at Popcorn Apps started developing mobile applications. They saw people like you with genius ideas, unable to make those thoughts a reality. They develop applications for tens of thousands of dollars less than you'll find anywhere else and will turn your idea into a reality in a matter of just a few months. Think you're not ready? Think again. They are your one-stop shop for mobile application development. See them at popcornapps.com with a K in popcorn. Or call them at 727-415-6705 for your free consultation and pop your kernel of an idea into a million-dollar business and a world changer starting today. What's up, business rock stars? Are you ready to bring out the CEO in you? Join Julianne Nichols, CEO of Focus on You Strategy, every other Friday on That Business Show. She'll be talking with other chief entrepreneurial officers about how they grew their businesses. Remember, you could join the conversation at Focus on You Strategies, Focus Fridays Facebook group at facebook.com slash groups slash Focus Fridays. That's facebook.com slash groups slash Focus Fridays. Be the CEO of you. Are you in need of new flooring or ready to tackle that home remodeling project? Then contact Jaeger & Company Incorporated, a family-owned, state-certified general contracting business with over 70 years of experience and the recipient of the Angie's List Super Service Award for the last eight years in multiple categories. Jaeger & Company comes to you with their Shop at Home Flooring Sales Service and their hardwood flooring refinishing is the very best in the Bay. Kitchen and bath design featuring American-made, well-born cabinets and all work is done by employees not subcontractors. Learn more at JaegerFlooring.com. Did you know the biggest challenge business leaders face today is creating an engaged and productive workforce culture? Bill Meyer Ham Consulting wants to help you solve this challenge. They will help you transform your workforce culture to produce amazing business results. Call Bill Meyer Ham Consulting at 941-201-4650 today or visit BillMeyerHamm.com. That's BillMeyerHamm.com. Have a conversation. I knew mom wanted to stay at home. It's the center of her family, her life. But helping mom stay in her home while managing mine was just too much. Honestly, it wasn't just about me. Mom didn't want me to be her caretaker. She wanted me to be her daughter. I felt so alone until I found out about Home Instead Senior Care. When we met the people at Home Instead, we just knew they were different. The experience was personal. And most importantly, for mom and me, I get to be her daughter again. Home Instead Senior Care. To us, it's personal. How many times have you said to yourself, I wish there was an app for that? Stop wishing and start making the world better. Turn your brilliant idea into a profitable business by using popcorn apps. Their affordable app design will help get your blue sky idea or proven business to the next level at a fraction of the cost of other developers. They will help you get through all the steps needed to make your thoughts become live. See them at popcornapps.com with a K in popcorn or call them at 727-415-6705 for your free consultation and pop your kernel of an idea into a million dollar business and a world changer starting today. Teresa Turner is a certified public accountant and the founder of Tax Happens, a boutique style CPA firm providing small businesses and individuals with hands-on personalized tax and accounting services. Although we would love to tell you how happy their clients are, we would like you to see for yourself. Tax Happens has 21 Google reviews and a 4.8 star Google rating, 17 Yelp reviews and a 5 star Yelp rating, 38 Facebook reviews and a 4.9 star Facebook rating. What sets Tax Happens apart is number one, upfront pricing, two, clear deadlines, three, personally available year round, and number four, a willingness to empower clients to do as much or as little as they desire. Visit TaxHappens.com for more information. From the RP Funding Traffic Network. Crash from the southbound side of the Sunshine Skyway Bridge. It is just as you get off the bridge in Manatee County, left and partially the right lane blocked here. Stay to the right, traffic getting by in the emergency lane. Also, we got slow traffic on southbound 275 between Fletcher Avenue and Sly. Westbound side of the Selman Expressway, slow from I-75 over to 301, crash off to the side there. See traffic problems? Call the injury firm of Abrahamson Utica, Hillsborough Traffic Tip Line, 866 866- 
545-9595. This report is brought to you by Unbound. Right now, there are young people across the world facing a tough choice. Continue their dream of education or drop out to help their family put food on the table. You can help change their future in a single moment. See how far your support can go at unbound.org. Today, mostly cloudy, a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms inland, high 90. Tonight, rain tapers off, low 78. Tomorrow, a 30% rain chance with a high 90. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Winds WHNZ. Missed a show? Then head over to tampabayradio.com where all shows are available on demand. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. And we're back to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney where business becomes show business. Currently talking to uh, Douglas Aze, President and CEO of Largo Financial Services. And Douglas, before uh, I you know, move on to the uh, four C's of wealth building, I want to just talk a little bit more about life insurance because this is also a way to build up you know, a retirement system savings for somebody who makes over a certain amount of money because I know for someone like myself the, like the Roth IRA is, is not eligible for me so talk to business owners about the value in this and the tax advantages well, you of know this. when we get into the four season one of the key things I always talk about is control and when you have a life insurance contract that actually gives you a lot of control because you could put up the whatever amount of money you want to put in it for example you know the way I offer life insurance to my clients is I ask them, what's the maximum amount you want to put into your policy? So basically, the person that is making 250 or more income might say, you know what, I, I could live off of $200,000. I want to put away 50 grand a year. And they could put that into the insurance contract and make that 50000 the maximum mm-hmm. they could put in, and which basically means the minimum will be like ten grand. So the other 40000 plus forty plus well, will be going towards building the cash accumulation for them. Now, when uh, are they taxed? When the money goes in or when, they, when the money comes yeah, out? Yeah, they, they taxed on um, when before the money goes in. So it's after tax dollars that you're contributing to. But the interest you earn on it is tax deferred, and you could access it tax-free. And the way it works basically is this. You're loaning against your policy, so it's not coming out of your cash. So basically what, what happens when you access a loan from it, the insurance company actually gives you the money in form of a loan so in the eyes of the irs is a loan you know so they don't the irs don't tax you on it and then but your loan against is you're using your policy your cash value as a collateral to access money from the insurance yeah. company something i learned uh, just in the past uh, few years that's why you got to seek out you know the guidance of a financial advisor right. such as douglas aze over there who can teach you these uh, types of things because they don't teach you this stuff in school no, they? They, don't. <laughs> <laughs> they don't teach you this stuff they teach you about hamlet and shakespeare and all that fun <laughs> stuff that you never get to use in real life right. you know? math who and, needs math <laughs> so i use math a few times a day but uh, nothing uh, nothing past sixth grade math it seems right. yeah I still haven't busted out, you know, differential equations or anything like that in any of my uh, in any of my uh, chemistry or daily work and everything. So, so the four C's to a wealth building: uh, control, compound, cost, and clatter. You talk a little bit about control. Elaborate a little bit more on this. Yeah, point. I mean, when when it comes to control, you know, you you want to be able to access your money whenever you choose. You know, I'll, I'll use an example of a four hundred one k, for example. Most people don't have control of that. No. You know, I mean, I hate the fact that the government, first of all, tells me how much I need to contribute to my retirement. It's my retirement, mm-hmm. and then if I want to take it, I got I'm gonna get hit with a penalty or pay and pay taxes. And then when I do finally retire, you're still gonna tax me on that money. So I don't see that when you know a lot of folks are so scared to touch their their cash that's in their retirement plan. But with um, insurance policy or anything that you do, even in your business, you know, I, I'm a big believer like um, J.D. Rockefeller. He has a, his favorite quote is, own nothing, control everything. Right. So, and that's the way I operate. So control comes down to liquidity, life insurance, an excellent way to have control over your money. Compound, explain this. Yes, compound interest. You know, one thing we've, we we know about that is, it, first of all, is the it, it, you have to have your money compounded. But I call it uninterrupted compounded, which basically means you want to make sure that as your money is growing, because compound interest works best over time. The longer you keep it in there growing, whether you ask touching it, makes your money grow a lot faster. So uninterrupted compounding is what I put to it to make sure that when you do build up the cash, don't just draw it out because when if you have $50,000 and you take out twenty, you just interrupted the compounding aspect of it. That's why the fifty grand continues to grow and you could use it as a collateral, which goes to the third C, which is collateral capacity. 
Compound is something they did teach us in math class that I do remember. That was one of the uh, things that always caught people's attention. Look at how money grows even when you yes. use compounded interest. And so well, that is a topic I know about I do compounds is that one that David Koresh ran. <laughs> <laughs> Good call back to what is that? Nineteen? That was back nineteen ninety five, man. That's I think a, so. Yeah, yeah, man. I barely remember. That was school. I don't remember school. <laughs> Next, uh, C after uh, control and compound cost. Explain this. Yes, uh, I call it cost. I call it opportunity cost. Because every dollar you have that you spend, imagine how much that dollar would have grown if you had saved it. So that's what we call opportunity cost. So uh, I'll take an example of uh, folks that have car insurance, for example. I always use that. My deductible for my car insurance is $1,000. And the reason I have it that high because with car insurance, the higher your deductible, the lower the premium. Now, for a person that has a $250 deductible, they're paying a higher premium. So, for example, if your premium is $2,000 a year for $250 deductible, the first question I always ask you, how long you've been driving and what was the last time you were in a car accident that was your fault? Mm -hmm. You'd be surprised. People say, well, I've been driving for the last 20 years. I've never been in an accident. But you're paying two grand. Now, if we raise the deductible to $1,000, that's a difference of $500, just using that example. Now, you could take that $500 and save it. And imagine how much that's growing. Because the insurance company is looking at their pocket because they're using your money to build their wealth. Yeah, good points there. And the last uh, C in the four C's to wealth building, collateral. Explain collateral. This. You want to be able to use your money as a collateral. I call it collateral capacity. So basically what that basically means, you know, as you grow your money, you want to be able to use that money. You know, we always hear the saying, use other people's money. You know, the banks use other people's money. So why are you using your money to do what you do? <laughs> <laughs> so our, our entire economy is built on using other people's exactly, money. Exactly. You yeah, got to do that. You know, follow the system. All the examples are already laid out. We just got to follow it. You know, so if you have your money growing, if I have $100,000 in, in an account, especially in a life insurance contract, if I want to buy a car, I'm not going to take cash for my money because if I take that cash and pay cash for that car, guess what? I, the car didn't cost me $20,000. It cost me $20,000 plus the interest I could have earned on that money. Yeah, good information. The four C's, the wealth building, control, compound, cl cost, and collateral here by Douglas Aze, president and CEO of Largo Financial Services. Now, you've also uh, set up uh, the Aze Foundation. Tell us a little bit about what this is and your yeah. inspiration for this. Oh, thank you. Oh, well, you know, being in the business now 20 years, um, I've always seen and trying to work with a lot of folks that I could do good for. And we do a lot of financial literacy. And one of the things that we found, there's so many people that don't understand basic financial concept. So we set up the Douglas Aze Foundation. Our mission basically is to equip, encourage, and inspire personal freedom and financial self-sufficiency for individuals, families, and children. Because we believe if we start young and start teaching our kids the importance of money and how money works, I mean, we set them up for greater future. And if so many people are educated financially, my thing is, once you know the rules to the money game, you could play. Yeah, and you have a website set up for this, azafoundation.org, and yes. you can take uh, donations there to contribute to a very good cause. That, that would be great. Right Thank you so much. For and Douglas Aze, uh, President and CEO of Largo Financial Services, a good discussion today on this early Monday morning, so I appreciate it. Thank you. And again, you can learn more about him, his uh, website, largofinancialservices.com, and then his organization there, we mentioned uh, azafoundation.org, and Aze is spelled E-Z-E, -E. so E-Z-E, -E, E-Z-E, -E, little yeah. rapper there. <laughs> <laughs> easy, got, got a plug in there for Easy during this uh, clip too. Right? Nice there, EasyFoundation.org. Because so. the boys in the hood are always hard. <laughs> They're just inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame too. Good wow. for them. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how that's rock and roll, but you know, yeah. it, it definitely changed the landscape of music. Yeah. So they left their mark. And we got Easy into the discussion too. Coming back from the break, we'll have Jade Matei, manager of Uniquely Yours Boutiques, on that business show with Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. Hi, welcome to Yeggers. We just want to take a minute and show you what we're all about. Uh, at Yeager's, our primary business is hardwood flooring, although we are remodelers for kitchen, bath, and general construction. We operate a fleet of shop-at-home vans that have all the flooring-type products, hardwood flooring, laminate flooring, tile, stone, what have you. So we're able to come out first with products in our vehicles and take a look at the setting, how the colors will work, and then to be able to come up with some options and ideas for you. If that's not good enough, we have a large distribution center that we inventory product and have a nice display area.
The firm's mission statement defines your hopes, dreams, and aspirations. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. We take very seriously our obligations to our clients, many who come to us in their most desperate hour. Our mission is you. Morgan & Morgan, for the people. The sub above difference is grilled. Because if you're making a cheesesteak and you're not using a hot grill to make it, well, you're not making a cheesesteak. Give our grill a go. Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. From the RP Funding Traffic Network. Crash from the southbound side of the Sunshine Skyway Bridge. It is just as you get off the bridge in Manatee County, left and partially the right lane blocked here. Stay to the right, traffic getting by in the emergency lane. Also, we got slow traffic on southbound 275 between Fletcher Avenue and Sly. Westbound side of the Selman Expressway, slow from I-75 over to 301, crash off to the side there. See traffic problems? Call the injury firm of Abrahamson Uteric Hillsborough Traffic Tip Line 866 545 9595. This report is brought to you by Floor and and decor for top quality floors at rock bottom prices come to floor and decor opening june 23rd on northdale mabry over 1 million square feet of quality tile wood and stone flooring in stock floor and decor opening june 23rd on northdale mabry highway in tampa 1250 winds weather center forecast today's high in the Lower 90s, near 90 degrees, 30 percent chance for scattered afternoon showers or storms. Mix of sun and clouds, low in the mid 70s. Forecasts remaining the same over the next two days. Impact Radio 1250 winds, WHNZ. You're listening to that business show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 winds, WHNZ. Missed a show? Then head over to TampaBayRadio.com, where all shows are available on demand. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. And we're back to that business show with Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. Weekday morning, 7 to 9, here on 1250 Wins WHNZ. Also, keep in mind the uh, partnership with the Tampa Bay business owners. So, extending an invite to all the uh, Tampa Bay business owners out there who would like to learn more about the organization, head over to tbbo.org. We've got a lot of different events coming up each and every uh, month. And again, this is a business society of about 300 members uh, with the idea of supporting one another and getting together to collaborate and share ideas. It's not your uh, typical networking group like a, a BNI where you go and uh, have to share a certain amount of leads and bring a certain amount of business to the group this is more like a, a family culture that was founded eight years ago by my good friend chris kermitsos and i was fortunate to uh, become partners with him as a result of the success of that business show we began highlighting uh, several of the members each and every week on tbbo tuesday and then chris uh, had the idea of bringing me on board there to help out the organization and help out uh, the show and it's been a tremendous synergy giving a stronger voice to the tampa bay business owners so that business show in conjunction with the Tampa Bay business owners. Learn more about that over at tbbo.org. And we have an intro event typically uh, once a month with the next one. I believe it's July 12th, talking off the uh, top of my head here. But if you head over to our events calendar, you can register for that. It is up on our events calendar right now. And there is no charge for that. Come over to the iHeart Radio Station here on Gandhi Boulevard and uh, get a tour of the radio station on top of that. Also, we have a, a main event each and every uh, month, the first Wednesday of the month uh, at the Center Club. Always well attended with uh, anywhere between 75 and 150 people in the room and so if you would like to attend that to uh, see a little bit about what goes on inside uh, the organization uh, send me a message see uh, tell me that you heard it on the uh, radio show and uh, we can get you over a, a complimentary uh, ticket that is our monthly membership meeting uh, time to bring in my next guest for the program I have Jade Mateis manager of uniquely yours boutique and you can learn more about her throughout the discussion and the boutique at uniquely yours boutique.com Jade welcome to the program today Hi, good morning. Come a little bit closer to the microphone there. Oh, all right. Go and pull that up to you. I can see you have a soft Jamie, voice there. where are you getting these supermodels with these exotic accents? Do uh, Dr. Whisper, Sharon. I, I really don't know how to act <laughs> right now. So, Sharon, I know Sharon's a big fan of the program and listening right now. Thank so you, Sharon. Sharon. Thank you so much for sending over uh, Jade, a uh, uh, very well-traveled individual as well. You come from what, South Africa, Hong Kong, and now the States. Yes, yeah, South Africa, England, Hong Kong, New York, and now I'm here for university. Yeah, and a beautiful accent accent on top of yeah. that so it sounds like an english accent to me is that correct yes mostly english so where, where did you grow up primarily or did you move around from country to country there well i've actually never spent longer than six years in one country so i was born in england moved to new york moved to hong kong promptly took myself off to boarding school in south africa 
And then my dad was finally like, all right, it's time to come home. <laughs> and your dad, you said, travels to this day back and forth between New York and Sarasota for his banking position. He does. He commutes between New York and Sarasota. So you've been in four major areas here. Uh, what do you like the best about the States? Or is the States your favorite place to be? Or do you like Hong Kong? Or well, Britain? I think all of the places that I've lived just are truly incredible because you get to go you get to know the heart of the place and that's you know the most fun but america is lovely i mean florida you just can't beat the weather mm -hmm. yeah yeah so so in hong kong did you get to learn the language i always i'm, I'm amazed <laughs> by just you know the asian culture because it's just such a different culture from the states well i certainly attempted to learn the language it was not successful mm -hmm. my teacher got very angry with me because my stroke order was wrong <laughs> stroke <laughs> order well, that's a term yeah. i'm not even familiar with what 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 was that stroke order what is that? It's how you write the characters. Um, is this calligraphy? This, they, like, they speak Cantonese in Hong Kong, which I just learned before the show, too. I did not yeah. know that, so she told me this. But, yeah, the the, the characters, though, it's, it's completely different, you know, how they write over there. I just know a little bit about the Asian language because my brother, who, by the way, taught himself Latin, has two master's degrees in English and history, tried to teach himself Japanese, couldn't even do it, couldn't even get out the basics of that stuff. So I can see your logic by surrounding yourself by with smarter people than you, but mm -hmm. I just don't think it's working for me. <laughs> <laughs> very uh, very difficult language but i'm always fascinated by language because my brain cannot absorb language but i like to read about it because it's just so interesting how uh, the world has so many different languages and uh, think about all the lost languages too i studied spanish for two years dated a spanish girl for 12 and i can't even say you know you know basic you know greetings in spanish so you i can't absorb hola? <laughs> you i know hola hola. And, and uh muy bien and a few of the basics and stuff but no i can't not absorb language for whatever reason I'm a very logical, linear thinker, and language, because of the way I, my brain thinks with English, when you start changing the rules in the other languages, it completely throws off my brain because I can't understand the structure and languages. Yeah, me too. So I, I just stare at you like my brain just melted out my nose. <laughs> so, Jade, how did you come to be uh, paired up here with Uniquely Yours Boutique? Well, actually, the owner of the boutique, Yvonne, she moved here from Australia, and her and my mum bonded over how difficult it can be to sort of get into American society and settle down and she needed somebody in the shop and I had just moved to St. Pete so I popped over and hey presto. So the location of the uh, boutique, where's it at in St. Petersburg? That's in downtown St. Pete. It's actually just one block from the Sundial towards Beach Drive. So it's a wonderful location. We get great people watching. When did it open up? We opened about six months ago. Okay, and so describe the line for me, the, the boutique. What are you selling? So the boutique is, well, uniquely also is quite unique in that we have just an absolute range of things. We go from active wear to haute couture, so. Active wear to what? Haute couture. I have no idea what that is, so you oh. want to explain that. So haute couture is where you get uh, one-off handmade pieces. So we have a designer called Sonia Stradiato that we actually work with. She's Australian and she specializes in Italian lace. So we just get really, really beautiful pieces. So is all the products imported or how does that come together? No, so our philosophy over there is we really like to stock designers where we can put a face to a name. So we have a lot of American designers and it's actually very exciting. We've got a I, lady. I just understood the first word that she said, which was American. The more she talks, <laughs> the dumber I feel. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, you were saying? So we actually have a wonderful lady from Sarasota who's just won the Emerging Designer Award. Her name is Alexandra Lynn and we were very lucky to stock her. So what is the cost of the uh, products over there? What range are you in over there? So we have everything from $20 to over $1,000. It really just depends on what you're in the market for. This, so. And this is in St. Petersburg. Is there really a, a huge fashion scene in the Tampa Bay region? I mean, you go to New York and they have the, the fashion festival up there and it's very, you know, what you're wearing is, you know, very important. You go to the different events and everybody's looking at what you're wearing. But down here in Tampa, we're all kind of just dressed like, you know, at least us men, we're just kind of dressed, you know, with a T-shirt. <laughs> And jeans we don't really get into you know high society fashion what's the fashion scene like in Tampa Bay so I think what's important to note about the fashion scene almost anywhere is it's about being comfortable and specifically for women in Florida it's very hot here we're constantly in clothes that sort of are keeping you cool so it's important to find things that are high quality and fit you well and that's where we come in because the worst thing is to try and squeeze someone into something that doesn't fit them doesn't hang nicely so we just try to make sure that 
Their clothes are beautiful and they look beautiful on you. She's been to Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand how some of these people, uh, some of these people in uh, these events are comfortable in some of those dresses. I mean, especially Lady Gaga. She comes in, she was wearing meat one time. I don't even know how that's even <laughs> how, how that's even comfortable. It's all about making a statement versus. Have you being ever worn meat? I, you know, I haven't, but it's on the bucket list. <laughs> I always said if I was ever some big celebrity, I'd be the biggest bum when it comes to dressing. I'd be showing up in jeans and you know shirt and <laughs> basic men's warehouse suit every every event and so. rocking the. Art bunker <laughs> there you go I'd, that'd be my statement i'm like why am i going to go to this you know i, I put myself together in five minutes y'all been spending you know five hours getting ready i just don't i just don't get it so but i understand you know women have a different uh standard they got to meet versus us men but you know what can, can we you do? imagine if women dress like us though I mean, we would never talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> but there are some smooth uh, dressing dudes in here. We've had several of them come through here and everything. So, and, we ain't uh, one of them. Yeah, sure. we're not one of them. So, but so is there is there like events centered around fashion in Tampa Bay? Or Actually, you did the Heels the Heel event recently, right? Yeah, I uh, the unique to yours. We were part of the couture section of the um, fashion show, and I was modeling in it, and that's where it really comes to life because you get fashion and charity colliding yeah, Sharon uh, was the uh, MC correct she is the MC and heels to heal what was the uh, mission of the organization or the of the event I should say so heels to heal has been set up to provide um, psychological counsel to survivors of domestic violence <clears throat> And so it's a really, really beautiful event, and the women that run it are just so inspiring. And so that was a fashion show with the idea to raise uh, money for domestic violence uh, people? Yeah, so everything was donated to the show, all the models' time, all of the, um, you know, the decorations for the hall, and all of the proceeds go towards funding psychological uh, treatment. Now the uh, title of uh, or the name of the business uniquely yours boutique so what makes your place unique? Well I definitely say what makes us unique is just the sheer range that we carry as I said you know we've got this beautiful active wear called Rockwear. I run every morning so I'm quite particular about my stuff and I love it and then we've got the haute couture and we carry someone from everywhere you know we go from Sarasota all the way around to Sydney so so is this a franchise or tell me about the structure of the business? No, this is just a locally owned business. Our owner, Yvonne Zantos, actually has two brands of her own. She has Goddess Jewelry, which is all made with Shavorsky Crystal. And then she has the Rockwear Athletic Wear. And when she moved here to the States, she decided to open a shop and... So she has uh, uh, shops all across the country then? No, she's just, just got the one in St. Pete. Okay, just the one in St. Pete. So why St. Petersburg, though? Well, St. Petersburg is amazing because it's young and it's fun. And, you know, it's just got that um, wild cultural scene where art, you know, goes from your traditional standards of art with sculptures and painting to culinary art. We need some of that in Tampa, art. though. Why don't you all come over to Tampa <laughs> and do a little something, something for us? So, you know, downtown's really growing right now. We had it in Tampa and Ybor for years. It's just, you know, bad area there. Are we going to see some bad. expansion of Uniquely Yours Boutique into the Tampa Bay region? Well, Tampa, I should hopefully. Say. We haven't had our first birthday yet, so we might have to revise that a bit later on. Now, you're the manager over there. Do you run it with uh, staff, or do you have other people with you, or is it just uh, you running the facility right now? Uh, no, we do have staff. We've got wonderful ladies that work with us that just make every day so much fun. And nothing over there for us men, right? Well, we do have diamante ties if you want to make a statement. What is that? What is, I don't <laughs> that was Crystal a huge ties. Word. Crystal ties. Yes. Are you explain that. What is this? It's actually just a necklace. It looks beautiful, mostly on ladies, yeah. um, but I always give the men a good ribbing when... You know, they ask for something. How much does one of those things cost? Those are anywhere between 50 and $99. You ever run one of those three-for-one specials I get over at Men's Warehouse? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think if we were as big a corporation, maybe, but... Yeah, I would, in Men's Warehouse, I always wait for those three-for-one or four-for-one. All those those clothing companies must have huge margins because they run these crazy you know, promotions. So if you're over there buying when there's not a promotion on, and you're not paying attention to the television set, I guess, because you must be getting ripped off because you know, they have these, like, buy three suits or buy one suit, get three free sales, and so you need to wait for one of those. Men's Warehouse is confusing for me. I went in to get a tux, and they tried to charge me for it. We had already paid for it. <laughs> So then I, I got the tux like a week later after it was done, you know, brought it, went to return it after my dad's wedding, mm -hmm. walked in. They tried to charge me for it again. 
I don't, I don't get it. Yeah. Well, Why? They, even Jose Bank and the other uh, big uh, men's warehouses, uh, they uh, they run these promotions. So I don't even know. I mean, there's almost always something going on. There's almost always a buy one, get one type of sale. But sometimes there's not. Because I've went in the store a few times, and I'm asking if they're running. They're like, no. And I was like, all right, I'll come back later. Because, you know, I know next weekend there's probably going to be some but event coming up. I think they up. forget there's something, though, or they got too much going on. Cause but also, they'll t- if there's something right around the corner, they'll give you the, uh, the discount. So, But, I mean, are, are the markups huge on the uh, on the fashion lines for for women and the products that you sell? I mean, how does the markups work? I mean, I wouldn't know about other shops, but for us, mostly our markups are relatively small just because we stock smaller designers. So, you know, you can't give them peanuts and then expect to get a quality garment. Good information here. Talking to uh, Jade Mateis, manager of Uniquely Yours Boutique, and you can learn more about this over at uniquelyyoursboutique.com. You're listening to That Business Show, Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. What's up, business rock stars? Are you ready to bring out the CEO in you? Join Julianne Nichols, CEO of Focus on You Strategy, every other Friday on That Business Show. She'll be talking with other chief entrepreneurial officers about how they grew their businesses. Remember, you could join the conversation at Focus on You Strategies, Focus Fridays Facebook group at facebook.com slash groups slash Focus Fridays. That's facebook.com slash groups slash Focus Fridays. Be the CEO of you. I knew mom wanted to stay at home. It's the center of her family, her life. But helping mom stay in her home while managing mine was just too much. Honestly, it wasn't just about me. Mom didn't want me to be her caretaker. She wanted me to be her daughter. I felt so alone until I found out about Home Instead Senior Care. When we met the people at Home Instead, we just knew they were different. The experience was personal. And most importantly, for mom and me, I get to be her daughter again. Home Instead Senior Care. To us, it's personal. Have you ever tried to buy a home for your family only to find out that you don't qualify for a mortgage loan? You thought that after 20 years as a customer of your bank, they would help you when you needed it the most, right? Unfortunately, the banks of today are not the banks of our parents and grandparents, and our relationships with them just don't matter anymore. My name is Frank Cotto, and I'm the president of the Lincoln Lending Group. We all may need a bank, but we also need a Frank, and that's what I'm here to do for you today. Lincoln Lending Group will waive all of your lending fees, which include your mortgage, application fee, your underwriting fee, processing fees, and any bank points. Just call 813-MORTGAGE. You drop the E, and we'll drop the fee. Tampa Bay weather is a roof killer. That's why when getting your roof done, you want it done right. Hi, I'm Jamie Maloney of That Business Show. When considering a new roof or repair, talk to Westfall Roofing. They've been installing high-quality roofs in Tampa Bay for over 25 years. Get a free, no-obligation estimate by calling 855-99-ROOFING. That's 855-99-ROOFING. Find out what already 15,000 satisfied customers already know. Call now, 855-99-ROOFING. Teresa Turner is a certified public accountant and the founder of Tax Happens, a boutique-style CPA firm providing small businesses and individuals with hands-on, personalized tax and accounting services. Although we would love to tell you how happy their clients are, we would like you to see for yourself. Tax Happens has 21 Google reviews and a 4.8 star Google rating, 17 Yelp reviews and a 5 star Yelp rating, 38 Facebook reviews and a 4.9 star Facebook rating. What sets Tax Happens apart is number one, upfront pricing, two, clear deadlines, three, personally available year round, and number four, a willingness to empower clients to do as much or as little as they desire. Visit TaxHappens.com for more information. In an age when the good and the better vie for attention, it is the best that stands out. The best of Tampa Bay from Proudly, Florida, is the love story for the city of Tampa. Celebrating success, sharing achievements, a tribute to enterprise and community spirit. Let Proudly, Florida showcase your business to your city, your nation, and the world. For more information, email info at ProudlyFlorida.com and be sure to visit ProudlyFlorida.com. Are you in need of new flooring or ready to tackle that home remodeling project? Then contact Jaeger and Company Incorporated, a family-owned, state-certified general contracting business with over 70 years of experience and the recipient of the Angie's List Super Service Award for the last eight years in multiple categories. Jaeger and Company comes to you with their shop at home flooring sales service and their hardwood flooring refinishing is the very best in the Bay. Kitchen and bath design featuring American-made well-born cabinets and all work is done by employees, not subcontractors. Learn more at JaegerFlooring.com. From the Bright House Networks Traffic Center. 
Heavy traffic on the southbound side of the Sunshine Skyway Bridge. Crash in the left-hand lane just as you get off the bridge on the Manatee County side. Also, we've got slow traffic on the Howard Franklin Bridge from the St. Pete side into West Shore. And westbound I-4, very slow from 301 over to 275. Crash in the clearing stages on westbound Summit Expressway near 301. See traffic problems? Call the injury firm of Abrahamson Urich. Hillsborough Traffic Tip Line, 866-545-9595. This report is brought to you by Foundation for a Better Life. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? My neighbor. Mr. Rogers passed along friendship, hoping we would too. Friendship. Pass it on from the Foundation for a Better Life at values.com. Today, mostly cloudy. A 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms inland. High 90. Tonight, rain tapers off. Low 78. Tomorrow, a 30% rain chance with a high 90. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Winds WHNZ. Missed a show? Then head over to TampaBayRadio.com, where all shows are available on demand. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. And we're back to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. Monday through Friday, 7 to 9 here on 1250 Winds WHNZ. Also, video stream available over at TampaBayRadio.com. That's what Josh holds down each and every morning. Great job uh, by the guys over at Tampa Bay Multimedia. Josh here in studio. Also, John, who uh, runs the uh, company, a great relationship and a great uh, uh, videography company if you ever need anybody out there for the event. So, Josh, thanks great for holding place it down. Great work, too, man. And you got a, an amazing studio up there in Newport Ritchie. Yeah. So, uh, and you do the, the nerd talk show out of there yep. and several other shows. Uh, you know, a lot of my audience comes from uh, the live video stream. And so, I'm very fortunate to have the association with them. And um, I loved uh, being up there on the uh, nerd talk show. How did you uh, Did you do a show on Friday? Uh, yeah, we did, but I vaguely remember what it was about. You know, it's, it's like bad? me and my radio shows. Yeah, people ask me, like, in the afternoon, who was on this morning? I was like, shoot, I can't remember right now. So, oh, I remember. I have, no, my memory's I starting remember. to go. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting, you know, you know, diseased or something. I don't know. But, yeah, my memory isn't what it used to be. So, oh, that's we just part about of board games. That's what it was. Oh, yeah, board yeah. games. Yeah, because uh, we actually had that discussion a little bit after the uh, program on uh, Friday a little bit. Which, yep. uh, which game took for front and center uh, last Friday? Because I was asking, we were talking about, like, you were talking about, like, shoot and ladders and chess but you said those aren't you know the board games you're those talking about like traditional dungeons. board games the stuff we were talking about where where there's a game called shadows over camelot mm -hmm. where it's set up like a board game and but it's there's no expansions there's no pieces you need to buy a lot of these games what you what you do is you go and you buy like a base game and then all the pieces you need you have to buy separately and those are like collectible board games, much like a card game. Like like there's one called Magic the Gathering, mm -hmm. and it's just a money pit. And I'm not into that stuff. You know, I like the games where you go drop sixty bucks once, and you can play the same game. Never play. I mean, it's the same game, but you never play the same game. So that's kind of what the show was about. It was a lot of fun, and we had a guy from a, a store called Gamers Guild. He came on, and we just ran the gamut about all, all things gaming and and what you should and shouldn't do and what to look out for if you're going to get into it cool yeah you can find that over on their uh, youtube channel just search for uh nerd talk i was on there talking uh, pro wrestling uh, a couple weeks yeah. ago so anything and anything related to uh, nerdy stuff uh is you can be found on it nerd we took talk. the show over talking about it. <laughs> i could talk wrestling for hours man yeah. so it, whenever we need stuff. a default topic it, yeah it's whenever a guest doesn't show up we'll just talk about the last you know wrestling event or well, we have a model in studio dude so yeah we yeah probably yeah talk to her <laughs> just saying <laughs> yeah we have jade mateis manager of uniquely yours boutique a, a boutique uh, studio over in st petersburg uniquely yours boutique.com the uh, website and so jade tell us a little bit about the challenges of managing a fashion boutique what, what are some challenges you face over there well they're far and wide um but really it's to be honest it's quite a lovely place to work and we've been very lucky that we haven't had many disruptive challenges come along do you get a lot of like returns and stuff you want to bring back <laughs> stuff after they've worn it and you got to like tell them you know you've already worn it you can't bring this stuff back i mean how does that type i've never worked in does fashions. that even work with like diamond necklaces and stuff? <laughs> <laughs> do you ever have that discussion with a with a clientele um we've had a few discussions about things like that and most of the time it's um when people sort of you know don't take care of their clothing they like putting it you Do know. they ever say this dress makes me look fat is like the reason they bring it back? Oh my goodness, we have had that a thousand times. Is that a legitimate excuse to return a dress? Well, it's often an excuse or my husband doesn't like it and then it's, you know, half the time they were 
you know, I just wonder what store and, policy is in these boutiques with regards to returns, because I know that you know women, you know, shapes and figures are greatly enhanced or de-enhanced by the the dress. But if they bring it back to you once they bought it, it should be because it's defective, not because they don't like the way it looks. Exactly. They should have caught that in the uh, dressing room. So. Well, yeah, yeah. Isn't it tailored to their figure? I, mean, I don't know. Is it? So we we specialize in sort of personal styling. So we don't actually have too many people bringing back clothes because they don't look nice. Like we wouldn't let somebody leave the shop if it you know was bulging or so everything is like them. you know fitted you guys take measurements kind of you know yeah, and well, women's we sizes with are, everyone's figures and women's sizes are a mystery they just use a number i, I don't know who oh, invented yeah. that numbering system i think it's to hide you know like waist and hip sizes starts at a young age i got a seven-year-old and mm-hmm. i gotta go clothes shopping for her yeah dude i need help yeah well, i don't you know come to us yeah i, I think some uh woman <laughs> i can't in, afford a diamond necklace for a seven-year-old i'm sorry i think a woman <laughs> invented that some years ago so they didn't have to say their waist size us men is like what's your waist uh, 40, 40, 42, 40, 40, it just keeps going up every year. <laughs> it goes, it's, it's, it's going to match my age here, you know, so, or actually it's over my age. What am I saying? So, but, uh, you women there, what sizes do you go up to in women? To well, start size, size zero is the creme de la creme though, right? If you're a size zero as an adult. Well, we actually don't believe that at all. Uh, we have from double extra small all the way up to double extra large. And you know what? In one day with one lady, we can have somebody wearing an extra small all the way up to a medium. It just depends on how the item is cut, how it hangs, how it looks. It's one thing about, you know, as you get bigger as a man, you can't go into the nicer stores like the American Eagles and buy jeans because like 38 is as big as they get. So once you get over 38 in the jeans, that's why I go over to Men's Warehouse because they got them all the way up to like size 70 or something over there. So I let somebody talk me into going to like Abercrombie. If I outgrow something. Men's Warehouse, you'll see me in a hospital. So if you're outgrowing <laughs> the Men's Warehouse, it's time to hit the, uh, yeah, the hospital. you got to have walls removed to get yourself out of your house. <laughs> Crane. Jade, I'm a taste manager of Uniquely Yours Boutique. Greatly appreciate you being in studio here on this uh, early Monday morning. Thank you. And you can learn more about her over at uniquelyyoursboutique.com. In the meantime, please uh, check out this uh, show's website, tampabayradio.com. Over there, all shows are available on demand. And you can also see that I uh, sell real estate, so you can peruse all the local real estate listings here in the Tampa Bay region. And consider me your resource for buying or selling in the area. And we offer a free home valuation tool on the website as well. Put in the home's webs- or put in the homes information, and we'll get you over a valuation, typically within 24 to 48 business hours. And and we need some inventory on the market as the market very undersupplied right now. So you'd be surprised as to what you'll get for your home right now in Tampa. Got to take another break, but we got another hour of that business show with Jamie Maloney where business becomes show business.